Lo que no saben es que no te dejas llevar de cualquiera y todos te quieren probar. Hello everyone. So today I wanted to come on and do a video about my recent What's Your Price date experience because I want this channel to be very real and I want to come on here with not just good experiences but also bad experiences as well or experiences that aren't so good not necessarily terrible so that's what I want to come on here and do today so you probably remember in my last video that I said that I had a what's your price date I was it was today Sunday and it was on Friday so I was supposed to meet up with the guy and basically I was going to meet him at 8pm at Canary Wharf, we was going to go to a rooftop bar and about an hour and a half before we were supposed to meet he sent me a message saying that something about how he would be delayed because of the M25 and traffic and stuff like that. Now I don't drive so I don't know if there is really traffic on the M25 at that time, I, I don't know, but um, I was just like, okay, no problem, meet me at 9pm instead, so it was pushed back an hour later than we were supposed to meet, um, he replied back saying, that's fine, see me then, I got there out of the tube station at 5 past 9pm, and as soon as I got out, I had a message from him on WhatsApp saying, I'm gonna tell you what it said, let me get this message up and I was just like, this guy is not serious. So he said, been able to text because I've been driving, which doesn't make sense because he said he was in traffic. So I'm pretty sure you could have sent a message when you was in traffic, but okay. And then he said, um, just got to London now. In his profile, he said that he was from London. So where the hell is he traveling from? I don't know. So I just sent him a message back at seven minutes past nine saying, so what time do you think you'll get there? And at this point I decided, well, I knew this anyway, because I had a bit of a bad feeling about him anyway. So I decided that look, even though I'm not meeting up with him, I'm still going to do whatever I need to do. And I walked around, went to see different places, didn't see any bars that I wanted to go in to try to see what I could do so I went back to the station and I actually went to the shard in London Bridge instead when I came out of the off the train I had a message from him saying how late can you come out girl so at that point I just washed my hands of him I didn't reply to him I just ignored him I went into the shard and I'll explain that part of my evening in a second I'm just going to round this off with him so then then yesterday morning, so the next day, he sent me a message saying, hey, apologies about last night. Hope you hope this hasn't jeopardized our chance of meeting up. If you're willing, we can reschedule for another day. If you're free, just pick the date and I'll make it work, girl. So I said, to be honest, I don't trust that you would turn up after yesterday. The only way I would trust that you would turn up is if you pay me the money beforehand via PayPal or something. He said, fair enough, how about I go wait for you there and then you can come once I confirm that I'm there. Um, sending money before meeting would be great, but this idea has been abused. I'm sure you understand. Girl, he's about to get blocked because I don't have time for these shenanigans. I really don't. Now, he's missed out on a good opportunity. That's all I'm going to say because, honey, he I was dressed to the nines, like... I was done up, so it's like, he, he's missed out on a good opportunity, so whatever, I'm obviously, it was a bit annoying, because it's like, he's interrupting me getting that bag, and it, it was £150 less now that I have, because that was the amount that it was set for, but whatever, 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 I decided to basically turn lemons into lemonade and I like I said I went to the shard and I apologize about the lighting it's the natural daylight and it's just doing what it does right now so I'm sorry about that if it's annoying and stuff so I went up there and I will insert a couple of clips I have just small clips of me when I was up there
Now, I was a bit skeptical about going to the Shard because the way I was dressed, it could have been taken like I'm some type of, you know, working girl. So I was a bit skeptical of should I actually go out just like this to try to meet someone because it might come across wrong. But I decided to go nonetheless and I went and I had such a nice time by myself. Um, I always go out by myself anyway these days. So um, when I'm trying to do this, but I decided to basically just have a good time. So I went basically if you don't know about the shard there's a few different bars in there the first bar I went to was called aqua bar and within minutes of me being there like moments I got talking to this guy he was actually there with his wife and his daughter it was his daughter's birthday and he bought me a glass of champagne it was really cool that he bought me that drink and he was just really sweet and stuff he didn't have to so that was nice but it just goes to show when you dress a certain way you get certain type of treatment I was dressed in that way, I was bubbly, even though, you know, my date didn't go to plan, I was still buzzing, like I didn't care, and I was still in good spirits, how I usually am, so, so he bought me that drink, I stayed around in that bar for a little bit, but nothing was really happening, most people were young, there was actually in there, so I was like, oh, I really picked the wrong day to come, and there was a few targets I would say but they was still doing work I think they were still in their their suits they was had like laptops and like um was writing stuff down I think it was some type of late meeting that had just gone on really really late or something so they was really engrossed in that so I decided to go up to the next bar and I bought myself the nicest cocktail it was it's an oriental themed bar upstairs if any of you do go to the shard and the cocktail that I had was called the Huang Ho, something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. The Huang Hao, something like that. It was really sweet and spicy at the same time. It was so good. And I got myself a table. And when I was there, there was two waiters that were literally like fighting, trying to impress me, running to get me this, running to get me that. I was given free appetizers, like free nibbles and stuff. And again, it just showed that when you are dressed a certain way, you get a certain type of treatment. When you have really done yourself up, people treat you in a different way. And I was just all the way getting lovely treatment. I decided to take that time to just enjoy having me time. I was writing notes in my phone of stuff I need to get, Christmas lists, and I was just making the most of my time alone. And I really enjoyed it. I had such a nice night. And I was really talking to the waiters, like I, I had a really good time. And I ended up leaving there at about midnight. So I was up by myself for a good few hours and then I went home. But it just made me really feel like I have come such a long way because going from before being the type of person that could get so angry so quickly, like my fuse, my temper was very short. So I have just come a really long way because now it will take me a lot to get angry and I'm just really proud of myself for that really and I'm pleased that I was able to turn something kind of kind of annoying and silly into something great for myself even though I didn't meet anyone I still tried to and I'm still trying and that's what is important and I just wanted to let you know that if you're not at the place you want to be at right now it's okay keep on going I'm not at the place I want to be I still I don't know how to drive I'm not, you know, if you don't have like the dream home that you want to have, if you're not living at the place you want to live in, if you, you know, still have not glowed up to the capacity that you would like to, if you are just all the way trying to make changes in yourself and in your own personality and stuff like that, then you can still do it. If you haven't reached your goals yet, they're not out of reach. You can still reach them. They're still obtainable. You've just got to keep trying, keep going, keep going, keep going. And that's, I just wanted to come on here and just spread this positivity to you. I just, I'm in such a good mood. I'm in such high spirits and it's not even just about the fact that, yeah, I like to turn something positive into something, sorry, sorry, something negative into something positive. It's more just the fact that I'm just 
I'm happy with myself. And instead of trying to change every situation, change how people react, change how people act, change everything that I can't change, that I don't have control over, I've just let it go. And I just go with the flow, I do what I need to do. I still try to plan and organize myself. And I'm just doing the best I can do basically to be the best person that I can possibly be today. That's what I'm doing. And I just want you lot to, if you're having a crap day, if you're feeling a bit not yourself right now, just keep the hope that you will just just try to be happy and be grateful. Just gratitude is so, so important. And yeah, let's just be grateful. Let's be happy. Let's be our best selves. And don't let negative things get to you. So I know that sometimes it's easier said than done. But so say for instance, some of you lot have said that you have not had good experiences with what's your prize and with seeking arrangement and stuff like that. And you've just got to think, I have these bad experiences as well. So don't think that, uh, so don't think that, well, I'm saying that I've had all these good experiences and your experiences don't correlate to mine, but they actually kind of do because I've had the good and the bad. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know that these letdowns do happen to me too. And I just choose to come on here and focus on the positive things, but I do need to be realistic and I do get letdowns flakes and fakes as well okay so I'm gonna end this video here I hope that everyone enjoyed it and um, I'm just wishing you an amazing day whatever time it is for you wherever you are and I'll see you lot in my next video soon bye